guess this is what it's come to. Jason, water's still running. Welcome back. I am Jason Salyer and I am in sunny Florida for a change out of the mountains for a few minutes and getting the uh, get down with the flatlanders. Um, one of the most useful plants that I've, I've found in Florida is going to be this cabbage palm because it just does so many different things. It's nice. I, I'm not an expert on plants. I'm not a botanist by any means. So I like to learn the plants that are the most useful, the plants that have the most uses, the most versatility. And this by far is one of those. So starting at the end of the plant of this cabbage palm, this is a ready-made shingle, essentially. Where I come from in the mountains, it takes a long, long time to build any kind of natural shelter from, from the materials that you can just source around you. Um, everything's just kind of skimpy. The pine's there, you need a whole lot of it. It's going to take you hours to build anything that's going to keep any kind of weather off of you. But having something massive like this that you can cut off and gather from this one tree, I could probably build myself something that I could get into and stay relatively dry from this one plant here. Um, it's just easy peasy, ready to go. Um, and for that reason alone, this plant is amazing. Sticking with the leaf, you've got basically a ready-made ready binding material here. I wouldn't call it necessarily cordage yet, but if I split this thing down the middle, something kind of like that, Maybe cut off a piece, tear it off, whatever. You can see just by it's kind of just, you don't even need to know what this plant is to know that it's going to be decent for binding things together. I mean, is it super strong as is? Absolutely not. But it will hold things together. If I need to whip up a simple little tripod or something like that or help myself uh, stabilize my shelter of some sort, that will work. Um, no problem. And it's nice and long. I mean, that's two feet easily right there of cordage. We can easily turn this, the leaf green part, into even stronger quarters by twisting it up. It doesn't work amazing for that because it kind of splits off. It kind of splits off and tears a little bit, but it will work if you do some kind of reverse wrapping here. You can get yourself a little bit of cordage, but the part of the plant that works even better for that, and which I'll show you in just a second, is the, um, is the the uh, fuzz that's, that grows at the base of each branch. And that's the part that really works. Um, and we'll talk about that now since I brought it up. But this stuff here, if I reach in here, get in here tight, and I pull out this fuzz, this stuff is amazing. It is super strong fibrous material that's good for cordage, and I'll show you as soon as I can get enough out of there, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I don't have a lot here, but the natives actually made whole nets out of this stuff because it's so easy, readily available, easy to access, um, and it's really, really strong when, when done properly. But I can make some cordage right now in front of you, real time, with this stuff, just by twisting it up. And I can feel the strength of the fibers as I twist it up. I can, just there, I cannot tear that apart and that's, you know, an eighth of an inch thick just by twisting those fibers, but doing a reverse wrap and then adding more fibers as I go to make it longer, I can make something from a short piece of cordage all the way up to making a giant big net. I can't really imagine making a whole net out of this, but if I guess I had a tribe of people along with me to do it, that would be a thing. Um, but really, really strong cordage for that. This is ready made tender. There's no more processing need needed to make yourself a tender bundle other than just grabbing it from the base of the tree. And it's usually fairly dry too. I mean, if it's a really downpour and it's coming down hard, you might have some issues with moisture on it, but, and watch out for bitey things in the crotch of these branches too. But if I get myself a little bit out of here, just enough to demonstrate what I'm talking about. There we go, that's enough. So this is ready-made tender. You don't have to process it, you don't have to strip it down, you don't have to scrape anything. It is good to go as is. This is a little bit damp, but I don't think it's gonna matter. I think it will light right up. 
see if I can get you to see this without setting the forest on fire. A ferro rod, flick of a bic, whatever, and this stuff burns super readily. And it is a little bit damp, but it doesn't even matter. It is probably the easiest and best tender source that I've, I've ever found anywhere. This stuff is just amazing. Put that out. Another spot that we can get some cordage out of this tree is the, um, is the, is the stem itself of each branch. This one's kind of already separated and pulled off, but if you see this, it's almost like a guitar string. See that? It's nice and tight. You can strip this down by just running your finger along the inside. Look at that, how it just comes off nice and easy in one piece. I take that and I've got some ready-made cordage here too. So it was, it's like, it's just wants to be some sort of binding material. It's, it's ready to go. And that's some strong stuff. I mean, I could probably break it if I pull on it really hard. Yeah. I mean, it's not super, super strong, but for simple lashings, making a small little tripod or something, camp chore, it's ready to rock. Um, what else? Oh yeah. Going on along the same theme as, as fire, this stuff makes, is, is ready to make, ready to go kindling, right? This stuff, after you get your bird nest on fire, lay some of this on there, whoosh, fire, got that going. And the dead stems, the dead branches, these things are really good. I don't know if it's the best that I've ever used, but it's pretty close for friction fire material. So if I cut one of these stems off, cut one of these stems off here, come out here where I got some room to work, this, piece right here, I can turn into not only the spindle, but I can turn it into the hearth too, the baseboard, the part that I actually spin the, um, the spindle in and create that dust, the friction. Uh, out of this one piece, I can create both of those. So all I would need now is some cordage. Haven't tried it with this, making it all from scratch. I would use a piece of paracord if I have it, obviously. But if you had to, had to, you could probably if you're really careful, we're really good at making cordage, you might be able to make the whole bow drill set out of this. That's something we might try on another video. But, um, but just for this ex expl explanation, perfect. Really, really light, um, really, really um, kind of, I don't want to say pithy, but very light wood. And that's exactly what you want for that bow drill fire, for friction fire. So it's good stuff. Another awesome thing about this plant is that it's edible, right? It's not easily edible, but it's edible. You'd have to get to the heart of this palm. You'd have to get really deep down in there to get to the part that's not so fibrousy and tough that you could actually digest it. But if you get to it, it's really soft, it's really tender, and it actually tastes pretty good in my opinion. Sometimes, I don't know if I'll be able to pull it off right now, but sometimes you can get the little ones, like this guy. This might not be a cabbage palm, this might be a palmetto, but same deal, both are edible. If you can get to the base of them, maybe pull out that inner part right there. Yeah, so the base of this plant right here is a little bit fibrousy, but is edible. It tastes like, tastes like, kind of like, a little, a little celery, a little asparagusy, but it's not much. But it's something. It's something to chew on. It's a little bit of calories, a little bit of carbohydrates. If you had a shovel and you could dig down in here and, and root that up, that would be the ticket. But I don't have a shovel, and they're in there. But you get the idea. If you could dig down in there with a digging stick and pull that plant up and get to the center of it, you'd have something to eat. So the cabbage palm, the palmetto, I think is what this is. I don't think this is a cabbage palm. Both are, the, the hearts of them are edible and similar uses for both. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I'm Jason Salyer. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up and we'll see you next time.